Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video, I am going to show you how to use Stratify when you when you do train test split. So I went ahead and imported my data here and let me go ahead and do import pandas as speedy and then Let's go ahead and read our data frame. I'll just call it DFS just to clarify. PD.read CSV. And we want to read our URL. Let's do DFS.head and get a preview of our data. Oh, that didn't go as planned. So that's okay. So here I'll just do um delimiter is equal to uh, this let's run this and run this all right that fixed it <laughs> so as you can see here in our data frame this is a wine quality data frame and quality is the target you know the y variable and then um, these are the X variables. So when you split this into train test split, okay, it doesn't split equally. And I'm gonna show you what I mean here in a second. Let's go ahead and import scikit-learn. So from sklearn dot model selection, import train test split. And then from here, let's do S test, S train. Uh, actually I got this backwards. So, all right. So S train, S test, Y train, Y test is equal to train test split. And we want to split DF S and then our Y quality, our Y, um, data frame is going to be quality. So the first thing right here is the data frame like the like the s data frame and this is my y right here because i said give me x and also give me y and then i'm gonna do test size it's equal to 0 0.25 it can be whatever you want to be and then let's just leave it like that and let's run it and then i'll show you what i mean here in a second So if I do strand.head, I still have um, quality right here because I haven't dropped it yet, you know, but if I was actually working with this data frame on a project, I'll go ahead and drop this column. But our S, training, our S data set doesn't have much impact on what I'm about to show you. So what we're gonna focus on is our Y train. So let's go ahead and shift enter. As you can see, this is our white training data. And then this is our white test data. Now, if you look at um, the original data frame, okay, if I go ahead and copy this and then do dot unique. As you can see, we have seven unique classes in our original y um, column right but now if i do y train dot unique here we still have um seven classes in our training data but then if i do y test dot unique i may not have all seven classes Okay, here we got lucky and we got we got all seven classes, but let me go ahead and change this to like let's say fifteen percent, and then um, maybe that will help to demonstrate. Let's go ahead and run this, and uh, run this again, and then run this again. So this is what I was trying to show you. Right here in our original data set, we have seven classes here in our training data set we have seven classes but here in our test white data frame we only have six classes 
that's because when we did the trend test split here we didn't capture all the classes and i'm gonna show you why in a second so if we go ahead and take this uh let's let's take um the original data frame if we go ahead and put here and then do dot value counts as you can see here the class nine only has five okay the class six appears about two thousand times on our on our quality column but nine appears only five times okay that is why there's no nine in our test data when we split it um using this format there is no nine in this test data if i go ahead and take this right here and do dot value count as you can see there is no nine right here in our test y data okay but then if i repeat if i repeat um this for training as you can see we do have a nine category here but it only appears five times so in the original data set nine appears five times in the training data set nine appears five times but then in the test data set nine doesn't appear at all the category nine doesn't appear at all in our test data set that's a very big problem you know so this is where stratify comes in if we go in here and do comma and then do stratify It's equal to, so if you go down here, it tells you that stratify is array like or none, and the default is none. So we want to stratify according to our Y variable. Okay, so basically, stratify is basically saying, I want my, this is what I want my data to look like. I want my split data to reflect this column right here so so that if there is like nine classes here you know for a fact there's gonna be nine classes in your train white train and your white test so let's go ahead and run this and now this stays the same nothing changes if we go ahead and run this as you can see we do have nine classes as expected i mean seven classes as expected if we go and run this now we have seven classes all right even though we still have like only 15 percent in the test data we still have um seven classes as expected now if we go ahead and run this now we have an an additional class called we have um the category nine and it only appears once and if we run this we have the category nine and it appears four times so when you have situations like this where you have one category that has a really small number right you may want to use stratify so that um, both your training data and your test data will get um, the same categories you know and even if even if we go ahead and let's uh, change this to 20% and run this we still have seven categories as expected and then if we go ahead and run this oh that should stay the same we still have um a category god nine um we still have nine in our categories and we still have four here even though it only appears once that's okay the thing that matters the most is that this category nine is represented in our test data so we, without stratify the category nine is not represented in our test data but when we stratify our data set to look like our target which is this when we stratify our data to look like this target column then we can ensure that our test data and our white data 
have all the categories, no matter how small they are. And I kind of hope this video helped you a little bit to make sense of the stratify parameter and trend test split. I know like for me for a long time, I kind of struggled with understanding what a stratify parameter does, but I just wanted to show you what it does and how you could use it to ensure data consistency. To get access to this notebook that I use in today's video, just go to machinelearningeducation.com. This is a platform I created for giving you access to all my free data science resources. So if you click and go on free data science resources, you'll be able to get access to this notebook. I create a lot of blog posts and a lot of YouTube videos and I end up with a lot of notebook and I just found it more easy and straightforward to take all those resources and put it in one platform. So that's machine learning education.com slash free to get access to my data science resources. And you can also visit me online at evidencen.com. This is my primary website where I create data science blogs. And as time goes by, I'm going to create more and more and more data science blogs. That's evidencen.com. And if you are here, you can also click on this to get to my free data science resources page. And that's it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you made it this far in this video but you didn't like it, please give it a double thumbs down and still subscribe to the channel. That's it. Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.